Hello, I'm going to show a demonstration of my combing and beading tools. You can see here that uh, the comb actually has the comb down here and it has a, a beading spacer which automatically spaces the bead for you. Then you switch it to the other side and you finish the comb and you just keep switching it back and forth. Um, so you don't have to measure it. Some people use a, a little measuring device to measure each time and I've seen some inaccuracy in pipes that and doing it that way, so uh let's see how this goes. Oops, my bad. Actually the spacer the spacer spaces each comb out all the way down and you use the last your very last comb is done with the uh, the one on the opposite end which doesn't have a spacer so you're not left with a little line sticking out there on your very last your very last comb. So we'll end with the end a little last piece here. And you can also tighten this up a little bit. Stop a moment. It's making really nice clean combs, and I'm going back over some of them just to cut them a little deeper. Got the lathe turned down pretty, a little slower than normal, but it, it, makes, it makes a good cut. All right. You can come back with a parting tool. Uh, whoops, that's not a parting tool. This is. You can come back with a regular parting tool if you want to. And you can cut beads into each one of these. That's what's called combing and beading in the Highland Bagpipe world. And you do it on each side. So I cut them on the edges first. Come in right along the side of, right along the side of your comb, making sure you don't tear your comb up. And then you come back and you bring them, bring them together, and make a bead. And it can be done, I mean, it can be done very slow, the lathe on very slow like I'm doing it right now, or it can be done with the lathe, you know, a little bit quicker. Combing needs to be done fairly slow, because you can tear the wood out while you're combing. But, beating can be done a little faster, not too fast, because you can get some chatter, and you want, it, you want your beads to look clean. And that's not sanded out or anything, but... See if I can get in close here. You can get an idea. They need, they need to be sanded a little bit, but I mean, but they're nice and clean, nice and clean combs. You can see some little sections in there that might look like little chipped areas, but just tiny little spots. But it's actually not. Let's see, it's just because it needs to be sanded out. See if I have a piece of sandpaper here. Needs to be sanded out and smooth. Should have grabbed everything I needed before I did this. But 